What's up guys, my name is Justin from justthisgood.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this modern pop art style that I'm sure you've seen in a magazine or advertisement before. Alright, so we're in Photoshop and I've got my photo of my very high fashion looking lady up and what you want to do is grab your pen tool. I've even got my USB mouse plugged in because using the pen tool can get a little bit difficult on a laptop. But go ahead and grab your pen tool. You want to make sure it's set to path and on these two little squares here you want to make sure you set it to combine shapes. So all I'm going to do next is zoom in to where we're going to be operating. Alright, that seems good. And then just for good measure I like to right click duplicate my original layer just in case I need to go back or for any reason I have my clean copy original on its own layer so we're gonna be working on the copy and then we're gonna just click outside of the canvas to start and then start working our way up and just kinda of click and drag command Z or edit undo is gonna be your friend in this if you ever mess up or you go too far off you can edit undo if you hold option command Z you can edit undo more than once also when it gets to the hair just do the best you can you'll see later and lastly if you're at an, a curve like this let's say you want to curve something like that if you hold alt you can tell Photoshop after you pull hey after we make that turn we're gonna be going this way again so just hold alt, you can pull your anchor to the direction that you're going to be going after a sharp turn and you can keep on going. So I'm going to cue the music, get to the end of this and I'll see you then. Alright, so once you're at the end, just want to click out of the canvas again and then go ahead and connect your last point to your first point you've got your main selection but you might be thinking what about these little holes in between the arm or these big chunks in between the hair what you want to do for those big chunks is click your little squares thing again set your pen tool to exclude overlapping shapes this time and go ahead and cut out those tiny little pieces so there's one for the hair only cut out the really large gapes. You don't want to, you don't have to worry about the, the fine strands because we're going to take care of those a smarter way in a second. So there you go. I've gotten rid of my big chunks. And now you want to click back on your little squares thing. I'm sure there's a name for it, but we're going to call it the squares thing. And we're going to click merge shape components. So now Photoshop has chopped up the shape just how you like and you can go ahead and click the make selection button and select OK. So hopefully if you did everything right you've got a nice clean selection here. Now that we're done being zoomed out you can go to view 100% or zoom out whatever you like. Now we're going to quickly take care of the messy hair part. So go ahead and click select refine edge and Photoshop's going to open up the Refine Edge tool where we can clean up that selection and kind of clean up the hair. So all you got to do is go over to your image and brush over these parts that you want Photoshop to clean up. Like that hair right there and if you have any other parts that you want Photoshop to clean up you can do that too. Um, also you can adjust the entire edge a little bit. You can smooth it. You can pull the radius in or out. Once you've fine-tuned your selection, go ahead and select OK. And now we're ready to cut it out. So click the any, any selection tool and right-click layer via cut. So now we've got our lady on one layer and everything else on another. All right, now click under the ladies layer and go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. Here's where you can get creative. You can use any color you want, but I found that this kind of trendy style, you'll see it 
mostly in pastel colors a lot. So if you're not too familiar with the color picker, it usually starts out just on the standard H or hue mode. But once you find a color that you kind of like, like blue, you can actually flip modes to like saturation and lightness and things like that. So you can kind of find a happy medium of a pastel color a little bit easier. All right, but I'm gonna use this pastel blue here. If you wanna use this color, it's color code A, B, D, E, F, F. All right, so next up, we wanna take the image that we cut out and make it black and white. So we're gonna go ahead and click the image and we're gonna to go to image adjustments, black and white. But we don't just want that dull, boring black and white. So we're gonna turn up a few things like the yellow in her hair, I'm gonna make it brighter and some of the blues in her dress, I'll make them a little bit darker. The point of this is to make it as black to white as possible with not too much gray in between. So a lot of contrast. Also, I'm gonna add one more adjustment on that. I'm gonna to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. I'm gonna take the bottom output slider and I'm gonna set it to about five or 10, I'll use eight. And then I'm gonna drag the shadows input in a little bit and the, the highlights input in a little bit as well. So now we've gotten rid of that boring black and white and we've got a very stark black and white, which looks nice against this pastel blue background. So here we're on the finishing, the, the home stretch, just adding finishing touches. So what I like to do is maybe add a little border. So I'll go to layer, new layer. All right, I'll grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'll select the whole thing, and then I'll right click, stroke, and we'll do like a seven pixel inside white stroke. All right, just to give it a little bit of a modern flair, I'm gonna go to edit, transform, scale, and I'll hold shift and alt at the same time, and actually bring that stroke in a little bit. Also, I'm going to drag the lady on top of everything so she kind of sticks out. I'll take that border layer and I'll duplicate it one time and then I'll transform it again. So I'm just using the shortcuts Command J and Command T there and then holding Shift to constrain proportions and Alt to pull it in from both sides. I'll do like a little double border effect there. So just a, some visual interest and then Maybe we want to add some text. So I like to use a really thin, crisp font. And I like to use all caps as well to keep with the clean lines of this kind of effect or this look. And we'll just place it maybe so it's hiding a little bit behind the layer, but still in an interesting spot. And then lastly, you can do a lot of cool things with the actual object that you cut out. One thing I like to do is let's click on that layer. We'll use Command J or we can right click and duplicate it and then select that layer underneath and just grab your move tool and with the arrow keys on your keyboard, just go ahead and shift it to the right a little bit. I'm just hitting the right arrow key a little bit. Then I'm gonna create a new fill layer. So layer, new fill layer solid color and just to keep with the clean black white and blue look I'm gonna use white and then we're gonna to go to layer create clipping mask so that just tells Photoshop whatever's on this layer make it fill to this layer and you have a kinda of cool little white stroke to the lady which makes her pop a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that I think it looks pretty nice of course you can take it in whatever direction you want but hopefully you learned the basic techniques for this effect. If you want to check out the full PSD file for this tutorial, go ahead and check out my website, justthisgood.com. It'll be on there for download for free. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's all at justthisgood. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.